Hello, I made coffee. I'm currently editing the vlogs and Lizzie came to join me. Not really, you told me to come and join I didn't me. give you a choice? You like hanging out with me, don't you? Yes, I also like spending your money. <laughs> What? But we did spend a lot of money shopping at TJ Maxx, right? And stuff. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got that on camera. <laughs> I'm gonna show that at like, I don't know, your wedding or something. I'm gonna be like, remember that time you told me you like spending my money? The reason why I invited her was because this is the vlog where she is actually in it. Gotta turn on the Christmas tree. And now I'm gonna continue editing, drinking my delicious coffee. But if you guys have been here for a long time, you know I've had a mistake where I spilled coffee all over my computer. So now we don't do that. We don't hold our computer near our coffee. All right, we're going to make some stir fry. I have my ingredients in front of me and I also chopped up some chicken breast to throw in as well. So we're starting off with two pans because I'm gonna throw the chicken in here and season it and get it all cooked and then I'm gonna start with the veggies in here then combine in this pan and add the sauce and all that stuff so for the time being I'm gonna slowly add in first onions carrots peppers and then the remainder I'm still not sure if I want to add more peppers but I don't have any more red ones so that's what we're doing for now this is the very last thing we're just gonna add that for glam and glitz you know and for chicken i'm probably just going to add salt and pepper like very simple because we will be creating a sauce using some teriyaki possibly i'm not sure yet but i remembered that i got oyster sauce we'll try oyster sauce this time i haven't tried it before and then my go-to the kikoman soy sauce so that's there to go we got brown sugar normal sugar let's do this Oh, I forgot to mention, I have broccoli and also sugar snap peas, which this is going to be the first time I'm making it with sugar snap peas, but I've ordered salmon teriyaki before and it came with these and I really like them. So I want to include them this time and broccoli. I just had some fresh one that I got from the grocery store recently and need to use it.
it's a little while later and today I wanted to sit down and share with you guys the things that I've purchased over the past few days. You guys saw me go to Target and Home Goods, Marshalls, but I also popped into TJ Maxx before we even started Vlogmas. So I wanted to share with you guys the things that I bought and I'm gifting this year because I know this year is a little bit different. If you are one of my friends, family, or somebody that you know I'm going to be getting you a gift this year, please don't watch this. <laughs> You're going to ruin the surprise and um, I thrive on watching you open your gift. So please X out of this video right now and you can watch it after I give you your gift. So with that being said, I encourage everybody else to take notes if you need to for little ideas. This is kind of going to be like a gift guide, but mostly it's just what I am gifting this year. So I don't really have a particular order. There's so much stuff here. So I'm just going to kind of like start with one at a time and show you what I have basically as ideas. First thing we have here are ornaments. I think ornaments are a great gift, especially for somebody who either collects them or somebody that is kind of like something where you don't know what to get them. Ornaments I think are such a great thing because they get to cherish them, you know, every single year. This is one that we found at home goods it was super duper beautiful i just love these detailed glass ornaments and i'm actually going to be gifting this to my dad my sisters and i got this so it's going to be from them mostly but i guess i'm chipped in because it was my money he loves ornaments he loves like glass figurines things that are shiny and beautiful and so there was a really good selection at home goods so i encourage you to look these that are in this light box were 12.99 and so was the nutcracker but look how beautiful this santa was there was many different santas so if you wanted um, a different color combination or something they had it it was so beautiful it was hard to like narrow down our choices and then we decided to get jesus and mary and joseph just because you know, that is the reason for the season. I also want to say that we actually have some new headbands launching on justalina.com. Okay, this is like a little shameless plug, but I wanted to share with you guys the headbands that we're launching because I think there's something so new and so great on our website. So I thought that like, you know, I'd share this with you guys, but it's going up today at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So that's when these guys pop onto the site. So just make sure that you're able to grab them because things sell out quick on our site that like people really love. Um, I don't know, like I can never predict which one's gonna go first because I place bets with my sister, but I am not always right. So this is what the headbands look like. My mom knits them and they're made out of this really soft wool blend. It is so warm. <laughs> they're really great quality. This is what it looks like. It is so, so cute. Um, I even got these like faux leather, uh, little label things on them. I am so excited for you guys uh, to be able to get these in your hands. I love these types of headbands, especially in the winter time, but we have four different colors. This burgundy one is definitely a favorite for me. I am obsessed with it. Then we have this dark gray charcoal, which I think is also really, really like a staple for the winter. And then <laughs> there's actually only one of these. We had tested out some of the colors of the wool. So we only have one navy that we're selling. So if you want the navy, there's only one. There's, there, there are a couple of each. So if you want them, grab them because I know they're going to go quick. These are the colors we have. I am so obsessed. I want to keep one for myself. I always say that, but like, I'm always so like, I feel so guilty keeping things for myself. We're not going to be able to restock these before Christmas. So if you want them, you, you got to grab them. And if you're already going to be shopping, just remember that in Vlogmas day one, I did give you guys a coupon code. It's tree for 10% off. I wanted to show you guys, there are a few items that we only have one left of. So this is Evangeline, this really beautiful gold like mustardy, warm toned velvet headband. Like, do you see how it shines in the light? It literally looks like liquid gold, it's insane. And then we only have one of Celine, which is this beautiful, like, dude, this in the lighting right now? Like, are you kidding me? Like, look at how that flows in the light. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. Anyways, this is Celine. It is a beautiful, like burnt orange tone. This is Amaya, which is a beautiful, like 
olive velvet. We're also not getting velvets until late 2021, probably for the holidays next year. Maybe. I'm not even sure if I'm going to do velvets next year, but uh, we have very limited quantity. As I said, there's only one of each of these left. I think there might be two left of this one. Only one left of this one. This is ivy. It is this beautiful like emerald green. I don't even know how to describe it. It's so beautiful. These would be like luxurious like holiday gifts as well or even if you want to wear it for like the holiday dinner, you know. And I'm not going to bore you guys. I know that like I, I love these headbands but not everybody's super into headbands. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a few of the ones that we have right now in case you want um, since you can be shopping right now for like a discount. There's only one left of these. I think there's only like two left of this blue tie-dye. Super duper cute, especially for workouts. I think there's only two left of this one. This one's really, really cute. It's been popular. This one is called Carol. It's like this deep green striped one, um, but it actually kind of looks like gray, so I feel like you can get away with it. We also have this angel velvet headband. This one is super duper pretty. Then of course we have our, you know, Christmassy colors here and these really pretty berry prints. I'm obsessed. And then Chanel, my favorite softest headband of all time. I literally brought it back because I was so obsessed with it. So yes, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I do have a few clothing items from the store, but I'll show that to you in a second. So let's start with the stuff that's over here. I guess we're starting with like the things I'm getting my dad. So my dad is like a kid at heart, so I got him these like little bumper cars from, I believe I got these from TJ Maxx, but they also had them at Home Goods. They are these like two dudes in suits. One has like this like little flip of the hair. It's super cute. Um, and they're remote controlled and you can just play around with them. I literally bought laser tag um, from the same brand, this Fau Schwartz. And my dad and my sister have been playing it nonstop. I might actually do like a vlogmas video of us like playing like laser tag as like two different teams. That might actually be really funny. I also bought like fake snowballs. Those were really cool too. I also got my dad some of these champagne flutes. He loves crystal and anything that's like shiny and pretty, I guess. And I know that we don't have any flutes for champagne. My parents don't really care. I mean, they kind of just drink out of the wine glasses they have, but they're like a similar design, just colored glass. So I decided to pick these up because when I saw them, I was like, I feel like my dad would appreciate them. Look how pretty they are. They just like, I don't know, they look so classy and so elegant. And I thought they would be a good kind of gift. And I think like any type of glassware, like mugs or anything, like a set like that, is always a good idea. And these were only $12.99 for six. And by the way, the bumper cars were $24.99. Something else I think is a really great gift is jewelry. And I love going to like TJ Maxx, finding these like little pieces of jewelry. I don't remember how much this was, probably like $20. There's no price tag on it. I guess I removed it. But this is this really pretty like love bracelet and I think it's like a rose gold but I saw it and I fell in love with it so I was like I need to get this for like somebody so I'm putting this in my best friend's gift box I just thought the box too was like super pretty I don't know jewelry is so easy when you know what the person wears it's just very important I think to recognize like I for example always wear my white gold cross so for me getting me a necklace doesn't make sense because i usually only wear this I wear a lot of studded earrings so that's like a really great gift for me and like rings i don't really care for bracelets i wear my bracelet that i got from um, a church in ukraine and i like adore it and i love it but for me it's like you know rings and, and studs really make the most sense so don't get somebody a gift like if they wear silver jewelry don't get them gold jewelry like you can if they do but like i have certain friends that only wear a certain color you can show that you're being thoughtful by you know paying attention to those types of things another thing i love gifting people are their favorites so one of my sisters struggles with like falling asleep so i get her these kids sleep vitamins and she takes them whenever she's having a hard time falling asleep and so i know she ran out so i like i'm gonna do that as like a stocking stuffer and then this is something <laughs> that lizzie wanted to get um katie if you paid attention in the target like video she was just talking like oh i need to buy the can this is the can she was talking about along the lines of favorite snacks i'm getting my boyfriend a giant ferrero rocher because he always steals mine when i have them at my house he always grabs them so this one 
is actually, I believe, a giant Ferrero Rocher with little Ferrero Rochers inside of it. So this is going to be one of his gifts, and I hope it freaks him out. And then Lizzie, she loves, like, chocolate chip cookies, first of all at Starbucks. She's obsessed with it. And then second of all, she is like a little chef. She loves cooking and she's always really into baking. So I saw this at the Wonder Shop Target section. This is the chocolate chip cookie mix and it comes with like a little cast iron like pan. And so I thought it was so cute and it's like her size. I thought it was like perfect for if she wanted to make like a single serving of something. Um, like a cookie. Another gift for Lizzie or for a little kid in your life. I got this. It is a Heedy's cuddly toy with microwavable ceramic beads pillow. So basically the beads are inside the tummy of the stuffed animal and you can take them out and microwave them and then the kid can like hug the stuffed animal and it's warm. So Katie and Lizzie both love heating pads. So I thought this was like a really cute gift for $12.99. It's just so cute and I picked the German Shepherd because Lizzie was just introduced to Elsa, my boyfriend's German Shepherd. If, you know, we move in together, the German Shepherd is coming with us. So Elsa becomes kind of my dog. I feel like I'm her mom anyway already. I got her like a sweater and everything. She's like mine. But since we introduced Lizzie and Katie to Elsa um, for a second time, the first time it was like not super successful. This time it was super successful. I felt like it was such a cute little gift. Next gift I'm getting is for my mom. My mom's not a super fancy person. She like likes what she she likes and it kind of sticks with her so I saw this bag at TJ Maxx and she literally has the same one but it's like this light gray color and it's kind of ripping because she's been using it for like years now but this was only $29.99 and it's the same exact bag she has wait did they forget to remove the security tag oh my god are you kidding me oh this is so frustrating. I'm gonna need to bring the receipt. I need to find the receipt. <sighs> Good thing I checked now or else I would have had been stuck with Christmas, like giving a gift that has a security tag on it. How come nothing buzzed when I left? Some security system they have. And I love that this already comes in a box. If you have somebody that loves cooking or loves anything kitchen, like pans, like cake stuff, bakeware is always a really great idea. So um, I usually get my mom an apron and like the little mittens, but I feel like I get that every year. So this time I saw this like really cute pan. It's like yellow and just really springy, but she always like feels the need to have like a pan like this and it feels like she doesn't have one. So I decided to grab it. It was only $10, I believe. So yeah, $10. So it's like a really great little thing to throw under the tree. I also ended up getting this box from Home Goods, which is perfect for the pan. Here's the smaller one. Super cute. All right, let me show you the clothes. This this is a set from um, justolina.com that is there right now and I think it's like a really great gift especially for someone who loves cozy Christmas vibes you know so this is our maple set and it has the softest material like literally everything in our store compared to it this is the softest so this has little pockets in here I love the fact that it has pockets and it has like a drawstring so that like if you need to tie it um, currently I think we have the 2XL, the 3XL, um, and I think we have some larges in stock, so definitely make sure you grab them. The other sizes went so fast, so I'm so obsessed to make sure that, like, you know, we have some Christmas things in stock, and there's obviously a top that matches. This is so cute. I think it's just, uh, I wish I had one to save for myself. It's so soft, so cuddly. So along those lines, I actually got my sister a sweater. This is actually from, I think, Express. Looks like this. Super cute, like little pink, fluffy uh, sweater. And you know what's funny? I got this before I even ordered the ones from my store. So this is $60 for an extra small. I ordered the seam ones, basically. And they, I think, are even better quality. They're like longer and they have pockets. How freaking amazing is that they have pockets I love that they zip down um, this little beautiful collar we have the olive one and I think there's only one of those left and then we have this white one which I think is just so perfect for like the holidays are you kidding me and they're so soft and so cozy and ours are so much cheaper I think the ones on just Alina are $49 which I don't know what Express is doing with these $59.95 prices on top of that you guys can use the code tree for 10% off so, 
And if you order $100 off of Just Alina, you get free shipping, so you don't even have to pay for shipping. So get yourself some headbands, get yourself a set, get somebody else you love a set. I'm telling you, it's like a great deal. So since we're on clothes, I have another set that I think is a really good gift. Um, I think tie-dye is so big this year. I think tie-dye would be a great gift for, like, any teenage girl. And so we have this set. Um, it's called the Alyssa set on Just Olina, and I'm obsessed with it. It has this, like, really cute hoodie. It's a little bit cropped, but not cropped where you see your entire stomach, especially if you get the Alyssa pants with it. The pants are this really cute. Again, oh, I just, like, love it. We also have pockets, and they have the string that tightens. But these are such a great quality product, and... I think that they would just be such a great gift. A really great stocking stuffer is fuzzy socks. So every year um, I stock up on fuzzy socks for Lizzie and Katie because they wear them throughout like the entire winter time basically. So for Katie, I got these cute ones. I actually got them early so they have more in stock now but I feel like whatever, these are fine, right? And then for Lizzie, I got the same ones and then I also got these like little dinosaurs that you can get some candy cane ones. I ended up also getting Lizzie one of the other ones that is I believe a bigger size like this one um, with a penguin on it because she really loves penguins and she was actually shopping with me in Target. You guys saw the vlog. I actually suspiciously just grabbed the socks while she wasn't looking so I actually paid for them like right in front of her. She just was not paying attention at all and those I think were like three dollars. The other thing Katie is getting Lizzie is this really adorable penguin fuzzy blanket so this is something actually that lizzie asked for and it was only $16.99 katie found it at home goods this is just a really great buy it's soft it's cuddly i think it's a great gift if somebody especially like you know the color of their room the decor it's so easy to get like a cream a beige a white blanket um, and everybody loves blankets. They're cozy. They're warm. They're soft. I ended up also getting these really beautiful bags from Home Goods. They were $4.99 for a set of three and tissue paper. I thought that was a great deal. I also ended up getting these boxes. And then for my best friend, I got her this bag, which was $2.99 because it matches her decor. And the boxes, by the way, are $3.99. Something else I think is great for tech gifts, phone accessories. Um, I think the Google Nest is going to be one of the gifts that I give my boyfriend because he's always like, oh, can you search this up really quick? Or like, what time is that close? Or this or this. And I think that this would be just such a great addition for him because then he could just ask Google and not me. For my best friend, I got her this heating little neck pad. I think these are so great. This one is actually $14.99. And I ended up picking this up just because they're like such a great all-around gift um, and nobody ever buys them for themselves. Then I found these Magnolia Home Bloom candles. They were $10 each, but they are so luxurious. I guess I'll unbox this one, but you open it like this so it has like a little case. And Magnolia Home, um, at least from what I know, is a bougie company and this is what the candle looks like and i just think that luxurious looking home decor candles just are great gifts and this is such a great scent it just reminds me of like a clean elegant room and so somebody can pop this in their bathroom um in their beauty room in their living room their kitchen and there was a few scents available at home goods but I ended up picking this one up. Actually, this was a TJ Maxx. And my idea for this is to gift it to basically anybody who I feel like I just need like a filler for their gift. So um, I often do little goodie bags for my friends. So I'm going to pop this into each one of their um, little, sorry, I'm making a tower. I bought five of them and then I'm also going to get them. <laughs> I'm going to give them each a loofah. So I got this for $4.99. This is like a set of five loofahs from TJ Maxx. And I'm just going to grab a loofah and separately put it into each like gift bag. Everyone always needs a new loofah. So to finish off like the gift for my friends, I love to add in some sort of like a bath or body product. So I saw this at TJ Maxx. This is the Carez Spread the Joy Body Milks and I love Carez. They have such great skincare products. So I thought this was a great option um, to just separate it. I used to do this in high school. Like if I had to get my friends like gifts, I would buy something in a set like this. I would pull 
pull each item out and I would tie it with a ribbon with like a candy cane or something and give it out. So I just think this is such a great little thing and there's five of them, five candles and five loofahs. So five of my friends can get, you know, gifts all together. Another great gift is obviously beauty gift sets. Um, I think they're really great. I actually got a few wander ones and I think I'm going to gift them um, either to family or friends. I haven't really decided yet. I just know that they were really cool and I wanted to gift them. Actually, that's the only wander one I got, right? These are from Laura Mercier. This is the Laura Mercier Ballerina um, little palette. I just thought it was so cute and so like neutral. Then there's the Laura Mercier lip glosses, which I think are a really great quality and they are just like nudes in here. So it's really perfect. These are the Laura Mercier Grand Overture Mini Caviar Quartet. So these are like these little eyeshadow sticks and I actually gift these every year because they're some of my favorite products and these are the colors on the back they're just neutrals and they're so great for like moms aunts um people who like are just so quick with their makeup you just put it on your eye you like blend it out with your finger and you're done and it stays all day it's amazing and then the last one is this laura mercier trio of lipsticks i believe and it comes with a little makeup bag and i just thought it was really cute especially for somebody who just throws on lipstick like for example my mom she like doesn't do foundation she doesn't do anything she like barely does her eyebrows and then throws on a lipstick and thinks she's done. Can't relate. So in addition to those beauty products, I'm also going to include some hand cream. Like I said, body care products are just always ideal. This is one of my favorite hand creams. This is the Natura Echoes Nourishing Hand Cream. So I have two different scents that I will gift. There's also this set. This is the Josie Moran All Over Joy Face and Body Essential Set. This has the Argan Oil and the Whipped Argan Oil uh, Body Butter. These two are full-size products, which they are some of my favorites. I use this for my hair and I use this for my body. This is actually my favorite body lotion right now. I think that says retinol serum and then probably a face cream. So I just thought this was like such a great gift. It's $75, but the value is like $136. So I just thought it was like a really great little package all together. For my boyfriend, I picked up this little set from Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss is one of his favorite stores to shop at. So I saw these Eau de Toilettes and I thought it was like a great little gift set, especially because I'm doing a little round of 12 punch days. If you saw me get this at uh, Target, this is a great little um, thing to pop in there. So he's going to get that on one of the days. I told you guys I'm a big fan of Carez body products. So I actually have some uh, body products for my boyfriend. So this is the mountain pepper scent of their shower gel. This smells so good. Oh my god. So that's the shower gel. Then this is the Eau de Toilet. And now I'm realizing I got him three different Eau de Toilets. So he's going to smell good all the time. But this one looks so luxurious i honestly got the other one just because i needed to shove something in the 12 days but this is just this is really a gift this is truly the gift this is an aftershave balm of the same scent another gift i love gifting is candles that people would not buy for themselves because they're too big or too extravagant so for my boyfriend's mom i got her this candle i saw this at TJ Maxx, I think, and it literally took my breath away of how pretty it was, and I was like, no one would ever buy this for themselves. It was 30 freaking dollars, you guys, but I wanted to include this in her gift because it just matches her aesthetic, it matches her decor, and I thought it would be like a cute little addition for her, um, and then I could barely find a box that fit it. I ended up finding this one at... TJ Maxx, which was very handy. All right, another thing I absolutely love gifting is books or journals or notebooks, especially to my friends. So I actually saw this one at TJ Maxx for $9.99, and this is the 52 Lists for Bravery, Journaling Inspiration for Courage, Resilience, and Inner Strength. I just love these. I actually collect them, and I know my sister got this for me for Christmas, <laughs> so um, I wanted to gift one to my best friend because she collects them as well, and basically each list you end up having like some sort of a thing, like a task or a list to make, and you write it out, and since there's 52 weeks in a year, this is 52 lists. Another thing I absolutely love is little gift sets of body products. I think they're just so great especially when you find luxurious brands. So this right here is Rituals. It's one of my favorite brands. I had some minis from them and I just felt like a queen when I was on vacation um, showering with them, like throwback. <laughs> but basically when I saw these, 
at like TJ Maxx, I was like blown away. They were only $14.99 for a set and each one of them has um, a different kind of experience. So Rituals creates like different types of experiences opposed to like products. So this is the Ritual of Sakura. Obviously going to take this off and everyone is gonna get like just a box like this it smells so good this one comes with a shower foam a shower scrub a body cream and a hand wash and this one smells so good but it definitely smells more feminine so I'm probably gonna gift this to his mom and his grandma so I actually have two of these then there's another one that is I believe the ritual of Tao this is more of like a neutral scent I would say. Um, so this one is I believe the foaming body wash, the body scrub, the body cream, and I think this is the shower oil which is basically like a moisturizing body wash. So I got two of these and I think I'm going to gift it to his dad and his grandpa. And then I have another one that <laughs> I don't know what to do with. This is the ritual of Ayurve Ayurveda? Vita? So this is the shower gel, the shower oil, body cream, and dry oil. So you put this on after you showered. It smells good. Um, not as good as the other ones, I think. Though. I don't know. I haven't decided who I'm going to gift this to, but it's never a bad thing to have an extra little gift set. Then for $5.99, I got these little dishes. Um, they're the Fiddle and Fern Rounded Square Bowls Mini Tasters. So the reason why I got this was because one day I was eating sushi at my boyfriend's house and his dad made a comment and said, oh, we don't have any dishes for soy sauce. And I remembered that for some reason. So I decided to gift him a little set of bowls that you can use for sushi, like for soy sauce so this is going to be in combination with his gift um i don't know what i'm getting for him i think i need like some sort of like a techie thing um i'm still gonna go to costco later this week and hopefully i can like figure something out there but i'm really having trouble like coming up with a good idea for his grandpa and for his dad for his grandma i think i'm gonna get her like a massager off of amazon which that's a whole nother story but then for 8.99 i saw this o'keefe's working hands and healthy feet set this is for somebody in your life who like literally always suffers with dry hands dry feet all that stuff i can think of a few other people that like i know would need this or would love this you guys probably saw me like thinking about this in home goods i got two of these little italian sets so so it turns out this is actually an oil and then there's three different um, spice blends, like salt blends together. So um, I actually got this because I want the dipping bread for myself. So Merry Christmas me. Um, and the other one I'm going to gift to my Italian best friend. I just feel like she's always all about like spices and I wanted to get her the garlic lemon one. Okay, my camera overheated a little bit, but that's totally fine. We're almost done. Next thing is pet gifts. Um, I go hard for the pets because um, my cat, like, I get her gifts, but she doesn't really recognize, I guess, that they're gifts. I get her usually a bunch of treats in a bag, and she gets really excited, but she doesn't really care for toys that much, so I love the fact that I can get my boyfriend and his two dogs and his recent rescued cat um, some gifts. So this year, I had a vision of having, like, gift baskets, so for $5.99 each, I got three of these really pretty, like, kind of softish, like, velvet, like, baskets that I think his mom could probably use somewhere in the house because it matches their aesthetic um but I'm going to fill these with treats and just like fun little things for the pets so for the cat I picked up this catnip chaser little ball that goes around in a circle my cat has like two of these she loves them I have one everywhere and when she gets the energy she plays with it so that is a must the thing that his cat plays with is like little soft toys my cat does not care about them at all so I ended up getting her like a little set of these little fruits so there's this little banana how adorable in the Santa hat this avocado and this little carrot and one of them yeah the banana has a bell so I know she'll like it my cat would not care I literally shoved this in my cat's face and she did not care at all and I like to unpackage the gifts because I know that pets get really excited and they want to play with it immediately so I usually unpackage them just so that it's safe nobody has to worry on like Christmas Day when they're unpacking everything that like oh my gosh we have to go find the scissors we gotta unpackage things so that's the one set then the other set here is for the doggos so he has a Rottweiler and a German Shepherd so for them 
I am filling these baskets with first a giant candy cane. I think I need to wow them with something big because every year I get them usually one toy and then it gets destroyed within like an hour because they demolish them by taking out the squeakers. So this candy cane actually has three different squeakers. There's one up here, one in here that's big, and then one down here. So when I saw this, I was like, it's a must. So I'm filling it with that candy cane. And then I found a set of these guys they were together in a set so i'm giving one to the rottweiler and one to the german shepherd um they crinkle but then they also have a squeaker in there it's really small so hopefully this keeps them entertained for a little while i'm getting them their favorite bag of treats and then there was a set of these guys these little gingerbread they have um i believe squeakers in them somewhere i haven't really tested them but there's little kind of like grips on the bottom so it's nice so that they can like play tug of war so i thought this was a cute idea and then the last thing i got was this little tube it was the holiday fetch set so there was two balls like this which i'm gonna gift one to one and one to the other but um there was also these two plastic balls that have like spikes all over them and they one of them squeaks the other one the squeaker broke but when elsa came over the german shepherd i actually threw them outside for her so she could play with my sisters with them they are currently laying on my laundry machine so far this is what it looks like and there's just going to be a bag of treats um in the back so yes the way that i'm gifting this though is i'm going to probably wrap it in like a gift basket like plastic type thing because uh, I want them to see it, but I don't want them to be able to get to it. There is a lot that I have here. I always go really hard for the holidays. I hope that these gifts make each person smile when they open them. I can't wait to see their reactions. My boyfriend's already done with Christmas shopping, and I'm not even... I mean, I'm close, but I'm not done. I am still struggling to figure out what to get his grandpa and his dad, um... And I still have to just get a few little things. I just realized there's also two other gifts that I think are really great ideas. You guys see I do collect the 52 lists books, but I really love these alabaster Bibles. They are so beautiful and so elegant. So if you have somebody who is like, you know, a Christian who I just like reads their Bible and you think that you want to like upgrade their little tabletop books or possibly even gift them something that's just nice and beautiful um, but also just like meaningful i think those are really great gifts they come in little sets too so you can get like all of them together or just like two at a time depending on which one you want the other one i think is really cool is the bible study this is something that they have electronically and they also have the book versions it comes with these two books they're they're separate but they cover the entire bible like so this is part one this is part two um, and I use them on my iPad, but I also like to have the actual book version for myself. They're really great for somebody who wants to start Bible study and is having a hard time. It has really great questions and stuff, and it's just a really great thing, I think, for the end of the year so that they can start 2021 fresh, and obviously a Bible is always a great gift. And I forgot to show you guys this. Um, I got this for my mom for $30 from Home Goods. It's this, like, drink dispenser. She has been wanting one for a while, so i got her this really elegant one yeah i just was too lazy to take it out of my closet now i gotta put all of this away <laughs> all right i know this video is kind of long um so i'm gonna wrap it up here but you guys know i have to end each vlogmas with a question of the day that you guys can answer in the comments down below so today's question is a little bit difficult for me <laughs> so the first one options kind of this or that type of thing would you rather have to decorate a thousand Christmas cookies or decorate a hundred Christmas trees. I'm sitting here and I cannot decide for the life of me. And I think I would say the trees, even though I do get pretty, I get annoyed decorating trees that are not my aesthetic. So if I can decorate them that are a pretty aesthetic, like the one that's over here, then I think, yes, I would pick the trees because cookies a thousand cookies sounds like a lot although i can watch a movie while i decorate cookies but i feel like cookies are a lot more precise and there's a lot more baking involved meanwhile if you're decorating trees they're not saying i have to put like a hundred ornaments on each what if i just get pre-lit trees and just put some tinsel on them you know what i mean i don't know i'm gonna pick the trees but let me know i love you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's vlogmas and i will see you tomorrow bye